Hello and welcome back to another learning video in engineering drawing. In this video, we will learn how to construct an ellipse by eccentricity method. Let's get started. The question reads like this. Draw an ellipse. If the distance of focus from the directrix is 70 millimeters and the eccentricity is 3 by 4. Also, draw the tangent and normal to the ellipse at any point P on it. First, begin by drawing the directrix AB. This is a straight vertical line. Next, draw a horizontal axis, labeled CC prime, so that it intersects the directrix. This axis will help us locate the focus and the vertex. Now mark a point F on the axis double C prime, such that the distance from C to F is exactly 70 millimeters. Divide the line segment CF into seven equal parts, since the eccentricity is three fourths. Count four parts from C and mark that point as V. This will be the vertex of the conic. At the vertex V, draw a perpendicular line. Make sure the length from V to D equals the length from V to F. Label the top point of this line as D. Then join C to D with a straight line and extend it further. Through the focus F, draw a line at a 45 degree angle so that it meets the extended line CD. Label the intersection as E. From E, drop a perpendicular line down to the axis CC prime. This will intersect at a point V prime, which is the second vertex of the ellipse. Now find the midpoint of 5 and 5 prime. Label this point O. It is the center of the ellipse. Mark few points, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, along the line 5 to 5 prime. At each point, draw a perpendicular that intersects the diagonal line CE. These intersections will be marked as 1 prime, 2 prime, 3 prime, and so on. You can also draw a vertical line through the center O. Now comes the fun part, using your compass. With F as the center and radius equal to the distance from point 1 to point 1 prime, Mark two points above and below the line passing through point 1. Label these as P1 and P1 prime. Repeat the same process. Take the distance from 2 to 2 prime, keep F as the center and mark P2 and P2 prime. Do this for points 3, 4, 5 and so on. Once all points are plotted, connect them smoothly using a French curve or freehand. You'll see a beautiful ellipse forming. Now let's draw the tangent and normal at a point P on the ellipse. First, mark the point P and join it to the focus F. At point F, draw a perpendicular to the line PF, and extend it until it meets the directrix. Call this intersection point T, join T to P, and extend it further. This line is the tangent, labeled TT. To draw the normal, simply draw a perpendicular line at point P on the tangent TT. Label this NN, this is the required normal. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments if you'd like me to cover other conic sections. Thanks for watching and happy drawing.